Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, here we are again in the YouTube video. Alright. Uh, let us start our class with Umul Kitab al Fatiha. Okay, uh, inshallah, uh, this week we're going to discuss about uh, the challenges to produce a literate citizen. Okay, so I just wrote there, if you can see, literate citizen. So, we're going to cover how literacy is defined. Alright, and then we're going to discuss literacy in terms of uh, what's happening now throughout the world. Alright. And then how does, uh, and then we move on to how does Muslim should understand literacy, right? And then how does we could use it? How how could we use literacy in terms of the Muslim context? Okay, these are the things that we're going to focus today. <coughs> I'll speak globally first. Okay, and then for two of you should then. Try to have discussions in the YouTube sections of whatever reflections that you can derive from my from my lecture today. Okay, when it comes to literacy, okay, the first thing that we need to understand is he is used to unveil the truth because without being able to see meticulously, okay, you won't be able to understand the world itself, right? There are so many manipulations that happens throughout our daily life to the extent that these manipulations actually help to sustain injustice. Okay, these are the big words that I say to you, so you need to understand this. Doctor Bay yang kita boleh lihat bila bila mana kita lihat pada konsep kebebasan, the freedom that has been introduced to us from the western situations okay and then we try to accommodate it we try to implement implement to our situation does it entails really a kind of a freedom that has been <coughs> that has been um, justified or has been understood by our Quran and Sunnah. Okay, that's the first thing, as a first example that, that I could relate. And let's say that we really implement the freedom that has been brought up by the West to here, to put it into our context, into our situations, into our life. Does it really then actually help us to expand our our Muslims, our Muslims' agenda to put Islam as the top priority, as as Islam yang luar layu nak ada Islam tu yang yang paling tinggi yang tidak ada yang perkara lain yang lebih tinggi daripadanya, ataupun lebih kepada satu kaedah membawa pemikiran-pemikiran barat untuk diterapkan ke dalam kehidupan kita, alright? Itu saya katakan tadi, being literate is actually you have to be very critical. Uh, dia bukan saja kemampuan untuk membaca teks secara mudah dan memahaminya on the surface. But to go deeper. To go deeper so that you can actually read the world, understand the world, understand the situations. What is the reality behind it? Because because truth itself has many layers. Kebenaran tu ada banyak layer, ada banyak dia punya... Bos layer ini bahasa Melayu lah. Layer ini lebih kepada lapisan-lapisan. Kadang kita tak nampak yang hakikat tu macam mana. Kita cuma nampak on the surface saja. And we think that, that that is the truth. Macam contoh saya bagi tadi pasal kebebasan tu lah. Kita nampak kebebasan tu bagus. Tapi tak semua kebebasan tu bagus. Adakah kebebasan tu bersifat mutlak? Berguna bagi umat Islam. Ataupun terdapat had. 
at a limitation for the freedom okay and then when you are being when you are being literate actually you need to as well be able to make a connections and linkages and a comparison so that at the end of the day you should you would be able to make a conclusion and then your conclusion in order to make it strong and reliable and valid you should be able to relate it with theory and practical in our case kebenaran the truth itself should be seen from neraca pertimbangan kita ialah al-Quran dan as-sunnah you understand that okay Islam memberi kebebasan tapi kebebasan yang sifatnya bagaimana okey ah ha, ini yang kita kena gunakan kita kena sandarkan kepada al-Quran dan sunnah faham eh ustaz okey next based on your understanding your deep understanding that you could relate with theory and then to be more practical about it the aim is to develop interventions to problems that you see from the cases that you view intervensi yang yang yang, yang kita lihat tu seharusnya uh, bersifat kepada membawa perubahan ke arah yang lebih baik jadi the way that i understand it if you have only kefahaman you you have only the comprehensions but you don't actually intervene to help the change itu akan jadi satu halangan sebab dunia basically tidak memerlukan orang yang faham tapi tak mampu bertindak <coughs> Jadi being literate ni being literate ni kalau you tengok ah kalau you tengok pada al-Quran itself ah auzubillahi minasyaitanir rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim iqra 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 is being literate iqra bacalah iqra bismi rabbikal ladzi khalaq khalaqal insana min alaq read boleh membaca membaca tu diri dia diri dia dan praktikal dia adalah bacalah dengan nama Tuhanmu yang menjadikan. Jadi takwilan saya dikaitkan dengan oh baca menjadi berilmu, menjadi berilmu ini perlu dikaitkan dengan adanya wujudnya Tuhan. Tuhan yang menjadikan kita sebagai hamba. Nampak tak? Jadi itu menjurus kepada intervention. Eh? Okey. Sebab Okay, this work is to intervention because if you see these these verses, huh? let, let me read for you. Hamzah Shaitan Rajim. Alam al insan nama la nama lam yalam. Allah actually Allah actually teach humans whatever that we do not know. And after that, okay, kalla in al insan la yadra. Indeed, a human they actually will 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 become melampau batas. Okay. Sungguhnya jenis manusia tetap melampaui batas yang sepatutnya atau yang sewajibnya. So melampaui batas sebab tiada iman because there is no iman, there is no faith. So that's why Al-Quran if you really read it it's not just a book that you read but it actually requires you to do some active thing after you understand whatever that is uh, is is needed is 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 in, is instructed from from the Quran so interventions and and it is a very dynamic process okay and then it melibatkan kesedaran betul atau salah Okay, suatu situasi atau suatu perkara itu ada perkara yang betul atau perkara yang salah. Ia merupakan deep, deep kesedaran, deep consciousness, deep consistation, istilah pendidikan. So, Ustazah dan Ustazah, apa sebenarnya tujuan pendidikan? Adakah tujuan pendidikan to make our students smarter? Lebih bijak daripada yang sebelumnya? Ataupun lebih kepada menjadikan 
students sedar they actually have the ability have the ability ataupun believe that they have the ability to make sense of how of how the world operated bagaimana dunia ni ataupun sistem dalam kehidupan kita ni berfungsi alright and because of that to make sense of everything okay of how this world work actually students should be able to make a connections for every pieces of their fragmented life Contoh mudah macam ni lah Ustaz eh? uh, Seawal umur 9 tahun Anak-anak lelaki dan perempuan Tidak Dibenarkan untuk tidur bersama dalam satu bilik Perlu diasingkan Later Bila kita tengok pada sex education Then we realize that Itu adalah untuk mengelakkan berlakunya incest Ataupun sumbang mak Ataupun sumbang mahram Okay. Sebab tu anak-anak dia asingkan Satu jantina tak boleh tidur sekali Pada umur seawal sembilan tahun Itu wujud dalam kita punya fiqh Atau dalam kita hadis If I'm not mistaken, it's hadis Correct me if I'm wrong Okay Dan kalau Anda katakan Anda kata pemimpin Seorang pemimpin dengar pasal This, this hadis Ataupun this, this fiqh ruling Okay Pemimpin tu, pemimpin ni mijak that He or she should be able to make connection that Okay, bila kita buat perumahan Okay, perumahan bagi orang miskin Kita perlukan, kita perlukan Kontraktor yang boleh membina rumah Yang mempunyai Bilik untuk anak lelaki, Bilik untuk anak perempuan Dan bilik untuk Ibu bapa Sebab kita tak mahu Disebabkan oleh poli, Disebabkan oleh pemimpin yang tidak mampu Memikir Persoalan yang nampak simple It's quite simple okay. Boleh membawa kepada Kehancuran generasi Masa depan Disebabkan oleh ha, ni, ni, Sumbang mahram ni. Ha. This simple je It starts from a very simple ruling tapi itu saya katakan kan tadi If you are being literate You can see Apa you baca tu Ke depan, ke belakang Ke kiri dan ke kanan Nampak tak? Saya tegaskan kepada kawan-kawan saya Among my friends That in order, in order for you to change To make our students more literate Okay They have a eye view Bird's eyes view perspective eh? They need to be able to actually lebih terbuka Lebih Berpelajaran Tentang Tentang Let me type it here Tentang se, Sejarah Mereka sendiri okay. Bagi bangsa yang tak kenal Their own history They won't be able to have their own identity. Bagi bangsa yang tidak mempunyai identiti ataupun jati diri, itu adalah sifat bangsa yang mudah dikalahkan. Okay. So, I would like you to comment. I would like you to give your critical points of view dekat YouTube sections, uh, comment sections, supaya kita boleh lanjutkan diskusi kita. Eh. Alright. So, insyaAllah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We finish with surah wal-as Assalamualaikum